Dear all, welcome back to Ecojo's YouTube channel. Dear learners, today we will discuss about the environment and economy interactions. We will discuss about the relationships between the environment and economics. What are the contributions made by the environment toward the development of economy? As well as we will discuss the contributions made by the economic growth and development towards the environment. Okay. Before going to discuss about the relationships, we should know about the facilities provided by the environment. According to the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment Report 2005, the environment provides us mainly four services. One is our provisioning services which include fresh water, food, genetic resources, biochemicals, etc. Whereas regulating services, this includes air, water, climate, erosions, water purification services, etc. Where cultural services include spiritual enrichment, cognitive development, reflections, etc. As well as supporting services. Supporting services include soil formations, photosynthesis, primary productions, nutrient cycling, and water cycling etc these are the some services provided by the environment according to the millennium Eco ecosystem assessment report 2005 but now we will discuss about the contribution of environment towards the economic development what is the contribution made by the environment to achieve the boom point of the economic growth and development if we talk about this, then environment provides us two facilities. One is direct facility and another is your indirect facility to promote our economic activities in the country. What are the direct, uh, direct activities or direct contribution made by the environment in uh, economic growth and development? Then what are that? Now it provides us raw materials to produce um, uh, manufactured commodities or final goods and services. Okay. What are the raw materials provided by the environment? If we talk, talk about this, then it provides two types of raw materials. One is non-renewable resources and another is your renewable resources. The non-renewable resources refers to that type of resources which cannot be reproduced with the speed at which it is consumed. Whereas the renewable resources refers to that type of resources which can be reproduced, which can be restored. Okay. The non-renewable resources deals with all type of fossil fuels like oil, natural gas and coal, minerals, metals, etc. Whereas the renewable resources includes solar, wind, hydrochemicals, geothermals, and bioenergies. Okay. Then come to the indirect inputs provided by the environment to achieve the economic growth and development in a boom or top point. If we talk about this, then environment provides us global life support functions. Okay, then next water regulations, then come to the uh, pollution filtering and uh, facilities of water sink, as well as it provides us soil retention and provision capacity or quality, as well as it provides us nutrient cycling facility, okay, and uh, ecosystem facility, which helps to maintain our health uh, or which help to minimize the diseases, wildlife rich areas and the green space these are the main basic uh, requirements those are needed for us as well as it provides us a healthy environmental or clean environmental which produces or which enhances the foreign direct investment into the country if we talk about the economical contributions towards the environment, then this represent clean and healthy natural environment can be produced by using some technologies like organic agricultural system 
और इंडस्ट्रियल रिस्पॉन्सिबल्स ओके और वी में प्रोड्यूस और वी में रेड्यूस द इन्वायरमेंटल इम्पैक्ट और इन्वायरमेंटल डेमेजेस ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज बाई एडोप्टिंग वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट टेक्निक्स और जनरेटिंग रिनेबल एनर्जीज थ्रू वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट टेक्निक एंड थ्रू प्रोडक्ट्स एंड टेक्नोलॉजीज ओके देन इकोनॉमिस्ट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू कंट्रोल हाउ टू कंट्रोल द इन्वायरमेंटल डेमेजेस देन इकोनॉमिस्ट कैन सजेस्ट और कैन गाइड टू द इन्वायरमेंटल एनालिसिस टू ऑप्टेन मैक्सिमम सेटिस्फेक्शन और टू ऑप्टेन ऑप्टिमल यूज और यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द इन्वायरमेंटल रिसोर्सेस लाइक दैट दे कैन डिसाइड और दे कैन यूज द इन्वायरमेंटल रिसोर्सेस इन ए ऑप्टिमल मैनर थ्रू विज वी कैन एचीव द मैक्सिमम बेनिफिट्स और मिनिमम लॉसेस कैन बी ऑप्टेन ओके देन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एनवायरमेंट एंड इकोनॉमी थ्रू एक डायग्राम देन वी कैन प्रेजेंट इट बाय टेकिंग द हेल्प ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल कुजनेट कॉर इट रिप्रेजेंट्स ए इन्वर्टेड यू सेफ्ट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन इकोनॉमिक आउटपुट पर कैपिटा एंड सम मेजर्स ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल क्वालिटीज द एनवायरमेंटल कुजनेट कॉर सजेस्ट दैट इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट इनिशियली लीड्स to a deterioration in environment but after a certain level of economic growth a society begins to improve its relationship with the environment and level of environmental degradation reduces okay these conditions uh, uh, may be take place due to these two reasons one is your technological progress and another is your behavioral changes okay